Hello friends, welcome to Global Studio YouTube channel. In this video, we will start with the mechanical analysis. There are many types of beams available. We will try all these types of beams in SOLIDWORKS. First, we will start with the static analysis and then we can move forward to the other types of analysis. In this first video, we will start with the static analysis on cantilever beam. So, without any delay, let's jump into the video. To start the analysis, first we have to create a beam. To create a beam, go to this design library and then select this toolbox. If your toolbox is not available, then double click on this toolbox, it will activate automatically. After activating, click on this drop down menu and then come below, click on this ISO and then select the structural members and then select the material steel. You can start with any of these beams but I will start with the I beam. Click on this icon and then right click and then click on create part. Wait for a moment. As you can see, now the configure component window will appear in front of you. Here you can change the size and length of the beam. Click on the size SB100 into 80 and then length we will make it as 1 meter. Rest of the columns you can leave as it is and then click on OK. We will try different types of beams but first we will start with I-beam. As you can see we have created an I-beam. You don't have to create an I-beam from scratch. The I-beam is already available in this design library. You can choose it from the design library and then you can modify the specifications. After creating this I-beam, go to simulation tab. If your simulation tab is not available, then right click on this tab and then enable this checkbox. After enabling this simulation, click on this new study and then click on this first option static and then click on OK. After creating a new study, the first step is to apply the materials. Click on this apply material option and then select the material. For the time being, I will select the AISI1020 material with the elastic modulus 200 GPA and then click on apply and then close the window and after applying materials, you have to follow these 5 steps. First you have to apply connections and then fixtures and then external loads and then meshing and then result. The first step it is telling connections. For the time being there is no connections in this. We will discuss this in detail in the coming videos. Go to the second option fixtures. Right click on this fixtures. First we will start with the fixed geometry for cantilever beam. In cantilever beam one end is fixed. So choose this fixed geometry and then select the one end of the I beam and then click on OK. Under external loads, right click on this external load and then click on force. We will apply the uniform load on this beam. Click on this face. Now apply the load. We will apply 100 kg of load but it is asking in Newton. Multiply 100 with 9.81 It becomes 981 Newton And then click on OK Now we have applied external loads And after this step we have to create a mesh Right click on mesh And then click on create mesh And under this mesh option There is mesh density Keep the mesh density as it is You can make this as fine but the running time is required is more so it is better to keep in the middle if you keep it in the fine then the output result is also more accurate but for the time being we will keep this one as it is and then click on ok now it will start creating the mesh as you can see guys here we created the mesh and after finishing this mesh we can go for the result option to see the result click on this run this study option as you can see we have finished analysis on this ID. Now it is all about reading the data and generating the report. After this step go to result advisor, go to new plot. From here you can select all the types of you want. But for us stress, displacement and factor of safety is important. Click on this factor of safety and then keep the option as it is and then click on OK. 
Now the factor of safety is appeared in the results tab. Now we will start with the reading of the data. Click on the stress result and in the stress result in this chart the maximum stress is 1.622 into 10 to the power 7. This is the maximum stress that beam is undergoing for the 100 kgs of load. But what is the yield strength of the material? 3.516 into 10 to the power 8. That means whatever the load it is undergoing is lesser than this yield strength that means this beam is safe for the 100 kg of load and also it means it can carry 100 kg of load go to the displacement option and you can see what is the displacement it is undergoing and now we will read the displacement result click on this displacement results and now you can see the maximum deflection of this beam is 3.643 into 10 to the power minus 1 that means that means deflection is only 0.3643 mm and from this data you can understand how much displacement that beam is undergoing so that 0.3643 mm is very less so it is considered as safe after the displacement data select the factor of safety results you can see the factor of safety is 22 that means the load it is carrying is completely safe that also means that this beam can carry 22 times of the load what it is carrying now that means 981 into 22 it can carry 21582 newton in kgs it will be 2200 kgs it can carry up to 2200 kgs so this is how we have to read the data of the analysis and identify whether the component is safe or not and this is one of the simple analysis we have done so far there will be a more complex more advanced analysis yet to come so we will explore that one in the coming videos and this will be a series of videos so continue to support for the video as you can gain complete knowledge of the analysis and one last thing we have to discuss is about the report to create the report click on this report option and select all the options available here keep it as it is if you want to add some comments you can add comments here and in header information if you want to give the designer name you can give it here company name url logo and uh, if you want to add address you can add that also phone number fax number you can add all the information here but for the time being we will not add that one and then you can select the path folder to save the file you can modify the document name here and then you can select the sheet size and then click on publish as you can see our uh, report is generated as you can see this is the simulation report we have generated the first one is name of the part and then details and then table of contents as you can see this is the model information like material details and weight etc mass volume density weight etc and this one is the study properties and this data is telling what is the analysis type mesh type thermal effect thermal option all the related data it will show and i will create one separate video on this and for this tutorial we will stop here as you can see this is how the report will be generated with images and uh, that's all that is for this video thank you for watching and also i will give the playlist link in the description below so that you can save that data in your playlist and thank you for watching this video if you guys like this video then please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also please share the video as much as possible we will meet again in the next video with new tips and tricks bye bye